Uh, my name is Irushka Pillay. I am the country director for Project Hope South Africa. Project Hope is a large international NGO. We are based in the US. We have country offices all over the world. South Africa is one of our smaller offices. We began operations in South Africa in 2008 with a survey of the community, surrounding communities. We officially began operations in Zanzibar in 2012. As you've seen in Zanzibar, it's a pretty rough community. It's an informal settlement. Largely, uh, there are limitations of the electricity, water, unemployment. There are high levels of unemployment and poverty. So it, it, it's a very difficult place to live in. And you know, at Hope Centre, we really hope to improve the lives of our patients that live here. In terms of our patients, we screen and we see patients. We manage patients who are diabetic and hypertensive and we provide quality of care that sometimes is not always available at a primary health care level. In addition to that, we provide patient education, support services um, that really looks at the individual holistically. As the patients come in, we work in a, on an appointment system with all of our existing patients. They check in at the reception desk. Then they go through to the screening room where a nursing assistant and a registered nurse, a low-level nursing staff will actually do the foot screening, their weight checkups, their measurements recorded on their form before they get seen by a nurse. Then they go and have their, you know, visit with the nurse where they count, they go through everything, discuss what their challenges are, review of medication. Um, after that, their labs are done. If they need an HbA1c, we have a preventive care HbA1c. And that is actually something really innovative that Project Hope does, because that isn't offered in any of the government facilities. So we can get results immediately, given we have electricity, for our patients. Whereas historically at government facilities, the bloods have to go out to the laboratory. Sometimes that takes three to six months to actually get those results. So with us, we can actually manage patients as they come in, based on the current needs and what's going on there. After they're done with the nurses, they actually come back out, uh, they get their medication, and then they'll meet with one of our community health workers who gives them additional information, knowledge, resources uh, before they leave. As you know, in South Africa, unemployment is a very big problem, especially amongst the youth. So one of my biggest roles here is to educate and equip my team. You know, we have a very young workforce with the skills that they can go out into the world and earn an honest living and make a difference. And for our patients, it's providing quality care that every patient should be able to get. And in a holistic way where it's not just the patient in a medical setting, but it's a patient living in a community. And this is really a symbol of hope. It's not just, you know, Project Hope, the organization, but the work that we do here gives hope to our patients and the community of Zanzibar because we create employment, we create opportunities for people, and hopefully we improve people's health outcomes. And I think that really speaks to the sense of Ubuntu, which is, you know, as you know, I am because of others. That's, you know, purely South African, and that's why we love this work.